The Pokemon TCG began with seven types, and more have been added since, but only one type was ever completely removed from the game. The original cards depicted only seven types of Pokemon compared to the 15 which were found in the video games. Many types were combined to avoid having too many types to balance. The fighting ground and rock types were combined into fighting type, grass, poison, and bug into grass, psychic and ghost into psychic, normal, flying, and dragon into colorless, water and ice into water, and both fire and electric received their own types, although electric is referred to as lightning in the TCG. Neo Genesis introduced darkness and metal types, which did not have their own basic energy until Diamond and Pearl base set seven years later. Dark and Steel Pokemon from the video games were given one-to-one -one representation with their TCG typing, and this helped represent more accurate weaknesses for other types. For example, Ice-type Pokemon like Delibird and Piloswine were printed with weakness to metal, differentiating them from Water-type Pokemon like Azumarill and Feraligator, which were printed with either Lightning or Grass-type weaknesses. Even with the addition of two more types making a total of nine types in the TCG, there were still plenty of Pokemon which were misrepresented in the cards compared to the core series video games. According to the video games, Apom is a normal type Pokemon, which is weak to fighting type, resistant to zero types, and immune to ghost type. With this information, it might be a bit weird to see that Apom's card from Neo Genesis was resistant to psychic type. This is because there is no such thing as full immunity from a typing in the card game, and also because ghost types share the psychic type in the TCG. If we look at Slowking, Sneasel, and Clefairy, we'll see they all include the Psychic type as either a weakness or resistance. Slowking's printing in Neo Genesis was weak to Psychic, but this was meant to represent its Ghost type weakness. Many fans who learned about type advantage from the trading card game would be surprised when they found out Psychic types aren't actually weak to other Psychic types in the video games. Similarly, Clefairy does not resist Psychic in the video games. Its TCG Psychic resistance was meant to represent its immunity to Ghost types. You might wonder why they didn't just give each type its own representation in the card game, and the simple answer to that is game balance. The designer of the Pokemon trading card game, Mr. Ishihara, had a strong interest in Magic the Gathering, which has been cited as a core influence for the Pokemon TCG, so it's not far-fetched to assume they wanted to minimize the amount of different types, since 5 colors plus colorless was already tried and true in Magic. Imagine how hard it would be to balance 17 different types or colors in a trading card game. It's hard enough even with the condensed typing the Pokemon TCG uses. From base set up until 2012, Dragon-type Pokemon were represented as colorless Pokemon in the TCG. Dragon-types like Salamence and Flygon were typically weak to colorless or nothing. This meant a normal type like Exploud or Flying-type like Dodrio would hit these Dragon-types for weakness, which was an unfortunate debuff for Dragon-types. The 2012 black and white set Dragons Exalted finally introduced a type symbol for Dragon-type Pokemon, although Dragon-types would never receive a basic energy or have Dragon-type energy as part of their attack costs. With this new Dragon type in the TCG, Dragon Pokemon cards lost their weakness to Colorless and would now exclusively be weak to other Dragon type Pokemon. Worlds 2013, the first World Championships with Dragon type Pokemon cards, saw Rayquaza and Rayquaza EX featured in John Bristow's 8th place Rayquaza E-Electric deck, as well as Black Kyurem EX in James Good's 3rd place Blastoise Caldeo deck. In 2013, Pokemon X and Y introduced the Fairy type. Pokemon like Clefairy and Togepi had their types changed from Normal to Fairy, while Pokemon like Gardevoir and Togekiss gained the Fairy type in addition to their existing type. We immediately saw this reflected in XY base set with Mr. Mime and Wigglytuff boasting their new secondary typing, as well as Pokemon like Xerneas and Aromatis debuting for the first time. The fairy type was introduced in the video games as a counter to dark and dragon types, while also giving steel and poison a new offensive advantage. Similarly in the TCG, dragon types were now printed with fairy weakness, and fairies were printed with resistance to darkness type Pokemon. The new offensive option against dragons wasn't as needed in the TCG like it was in the video games, but having a new type resisting darkness was actually a huge deal, since Darkrai EX had been a mainstay of the competitive metagame and now also had Eviltal EX in the mix. The most competitive fairy type cards at release were Xerneas and Aromatisse. Both of these cards focused on manipulating energy cards. 
Xerneas doing so with the Geomancy attack, and Aromatisse with its fairy transfer ability. Mishikazu Suda used these cards in his third place fairy box deck at the 2014 World Championships. Although the deck wasn't entirely made up of fairy Pokemon, using Mega Kangaskhan EX and Mewtwo EX as its main attackers, it followed the general motif of the fairy type in the TCG with energy manipulation and healing. The combination of Fairy Transfer to move energy off of a damaged Pokemon, and then Max Potion to fully heal the Pokemon without losing energies, and then Fairy Transfer the energy cards back, was a mainstay strategy in the game until Aromatisse rotated out of standard format. In the 2016 expansion Steam Siege, we'd see the return of dual-type Pokemon, with Mega Gardevoir EX getting a chance to flaunt its Psychic Fairy dual-type in the trading card game. Fortunate for fans of this Pokemon, Gardevoir received several printings as a Fairy-type Pokemon card before an eventual shocking statement was issued by Pokemon. The Fairy-type, which was introduced in the XY series, will no longer be supported in the Sword and Shield series. Pokemon that are Fairy-types in the Pokemon video game series will now generally be represented as Psychic-type Pokemon in the Pokemon TCG. To maintain a balance among types, Pokemon that are poison types in the video games will now be represented as darkness types instead of psychic types. Creatures Inc. representatives expressed that the Pokemon TCG had traditionally been balanced around the rock, paper, scissors meta of three types, typically grass, fire, and water, with each of them being super effective against the next. In the olden days of the Pokemon TCG, there was a larger variety of weaknesses, and weakness was also less impactful depending on the format. Comparing the importance of weakness in the Diamond and Pearl era, where a single prized Pokemon like Machamp took 30 extra damage from Psychic Pokemon, with the Tag Team era where a 3 prized Pokemon like Machamp and Marshadow Tag Team took twice the damage from Psychic Pokemon, shows just how varied the weakness mechanic has been in the history of the game. The fairy type wasn't overpowered or anything like that. It was just the easiest piece of the puzzle to remove in the process of reworking the weakness mechanic. The only type in the TCG weak to fairy was dragon, and at this time, dragon type wasn't super effective against anything. To move away from this rock, paper, scissors type of weakness, the designers decided to focus on a cycle of five weaknesses, starting with the sword and shield cards, being grass, fire, water, lightning, and fighting. Each of these types are super effective against one of the other four, increasing the range of types and strategies to choose from. Fairy-type Pokémon are now represented as Psychic in the TCG, and are differentiated from other Psychic Pokémon by their weakness to Metal. Furthermore, Poison-type Pokémon, which were previously represented as Psychic-type, would now be Dark-type Pokémon, as we see with Pokémon like Garbodor and Drapion. Basic Fairy Energy has gone down in history as the first Basic Energy card ever removed from Standard Legality, now that all Fairy-type Pokémon have been rotated out of the format. If there is any sliver of hope for the fairy type returning one day, it is that dragon types were vacant from the game for almost two years before returning in Evolving Skies. However, the dragon type was never explicitly discontinued in the way that fairy types were. With this major rework and announcement, it is unlikely the fairy type will ever return to the Pokemon trading card game.